guys, welcome back to uh, another video I'm making on uh, on these one wheels, on these amazing pieces of machines um, which I drive every day and, and um, today I'm going to talk to you about um, how you can actually extend the range on your on your one wheel. We have a pint here, we have a one wheel plus here, we have some extremely large uh, external batteries and in this video I will try to explain to you um, how we use these external batteries to connect them up to your one wheel and how to, how to extend your range uh, with multiple kilo kilometers um, for example I have one of these batteries here which gives me almost three times the range uh, a, normal, a normal stock ba battery, one wheel plus battery will get me and I will also have some examples of uh, the one wheel Pine and the one wheel XR as well, which um, how the range you will be getting with different setups, um, different ways you can actually extend uh, uh, the range on these machines because there are actually different ways of, of connecting such an external battery uh, to them. And um, I will let you know what you actually need to, to build such a setup. Um, reason for this video is actually a post I recently made on the Reddit One Wheel subgroup, which uh, a lot of people um, uh, didn't know what I was talking about when showing these kind of batteries. Um, I have multiple of these laying around to actually extend the, the range on my One Wheel. And well, most of the people didn't know what Femp and Ride was, didn't know what Charge and Ride was, didn't know how they could make such a setup. To actually build one of uh, these these setups there for their own, and that's a shame because most of these boards, not all of them, but most of these boards can actually be be range extended. So you're not limited anymore to the built-in battery uh, capacity, but you can actually connect multiple external batteries up to them. Um, most of the time, even as many as you you want yourself, and just extend the range up to a lot of kilometers or miles. So guys, now that we're sitting at the bench, um, I will try to explain more of the, the technical part about building a setup, which can actually get you a lot further than the, the normal stock uh, range you're normally getting. Um, in front of me, I got one of the Ego 56 volt uh, lithium ion batteries. This is a five amp power model and paired this battery paired with my uh, one wheel plus actually gets me about uh, almost XR range. Um, just counting the watt hours uh, that this battery combined with my internal battery produces is actually uh, four, 410 watt hours, which is like almost one third more than um, the internal stock XR battery, which is on, on only 324 watt hour, I think. So um, pairing these up with maybe even like another one will almost get you in the range like in between 40 to 50 kilometers on a single charge. And that's, well, I, especially with the, the plus model, the one with plus model, I've been looking for ways to actually extend this, this range that um, I'm getting with, that, with my board because, well, seven kilometers um, on the internal battery just isn't enough for me. So since I've installed this um, or connected up this battery on my on my one wheel, I've actually gone much further. Uh, you just have a lot more freedom, less range anxiety. Um, so just getting such a setup is well for me is really worth it um, in the end. Just because I can just go on longer uh, trails, harder trails, faster trails. I can keep up with my uh, XR buddies which um, just have a lot more range, I don't have to charge as much and these support fast charge as well so if you have a fast charger for your um, battery then you can also um, just plug it in, keep it plugged in and actually charge the internal battery and the external battery at the same time like with, with some insane amount of, of amp power I think for the one with XR we also have these kind of batteries they will look a little bit different um, because the internal battery voltage of the Plus, the XR and the Pine differ a little bit. I will put them on the screen uh, for you. Because that's one of the most important things uh, you actually want to consider when buying an external battery. 
you can't just buy any external battery and plug them into your one wheel. They have to be the same voltage. So um, the, the, the one wheel plus for example has 58, when fully charged at least, has almost about 58 volts. Um, and that's why uh, we use the, the Echo battery as well, because when this thing is fully charged it also produces about 58 volts. And so when you connect them or when you want to charge them or when you want to empty them, they keep they basically keep the same voltage all the way through. Um, there's no really a danger situation because for example, if you compare like uh, if you put if you connect a battery which is a lot the different if you connect a battery to your one wheel which has a completely different voltage there will be a lot of current going through the board going through the batteries and it just strains the whole system and that's not what we want um, for the one wheel XR and the Pint uh, we actually use uh, Greenworks batteries here in the Netherlands which is um, I think a 64 volts um, one wheel battery or another one wheel battery a 64 volts power works um, battery which um, is the same voltage uh, fully charged as the one wheel XR and Pine battery. So you can just straight up connect them and um, there's not really a lot of trouble. I will show you a picture uh, uh, in the in the B-roll now as well. Um, so yeah, that's about the batteries. Just keep in mind that you want to have the, the batteries the same voltage um, and that's about it. Probably It doesn't really matter if you can drain this battery further because at one point you're one we will just cut out because the internal battery voltage gets too low and yeah you don't really have to worry about this thing getting too much decharged because most of the time also has an internal BMS which uh, protects it from from too much heat too fast of a ditch discharge um, yeah so so far we got the battery now um, of course you need something to to actually connect uh, this battery because well we got some nice terminals over here um, that's what we use you can build these yourself most of the time that's why we have uh, these things you can actually see here and that I've made two together I put two together so you, I actually have two of these batteries so I can connect them in parallel and um, get almost five times the range which I'm normally getting on my one wheel plus which is amazing um, so yeah, this thing just slides into the battery like this and uh, now this is a live terminal which you don't want to short or anything um, because that will be a mess but um, this is the way we actually connect uh, or get to the terminals to the, the voltage um, inside the battery and with this plug we can connect it to our one wheel. Yeah, so that's this part. Um, now one of the, 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 the more difficult parts we have is um, actually connecting this wire up to our one wheel battery because where do you connect it, where do you want to connect it, where don't you want to connect it to um, and for all models the uh, the, the, the plus, the Pint uh, and the XR and I think the, the V1 as well but I'm not sure about that um, we can use posit tabs uh, these are a little harder to get, to get in uh, Europe, we have a lot of different uh, companies which produce similar like products, but um, nothing like these. These are the original Positeps, I think, that come from the USA. And basically, what these are for is to tap into uh, wires without soldering or cutting them or um, doing anything to them, basically. So, uh, um, how they work is they have a very sharp spike here uh, at the end of them and uh, a slit through the screw where you put the wire in and um, you put these on the positive and negative terminal um, near the connector bay I will show you in the b-roll in a second um, how that would actually look like but you connect these up to the positive and negative wire coming from the battery to the controller and you can without soldering screw these in they're basically watertight, um, uh, if you don't wiggle them open too much or, or don't touch them too much, they will stay pretty waterproof as well. Um, and that just ensures that you can actually tap into the positive and negative wires without cutting anything open. 
Um, you can buy these uh, uh, at our web shop as well. It's called electricservers.eu. Um, and we sell these kits, uh, uh, um, including cables and connectors as well over there, if you're interested in that. And then on the other side, we want to connect some sort of cable, like uh, I got some, some 12 gauge um, uh, cable, silicon cable over here. And we connect that on the other side, just no soldering, just uh, putting it through this hole and screwing it back in. Um, installation is, is very easy, like ev everyone can do it, you just have to watch out that you don't mix up the positive and negative, but uh, they're color coded as you can see in the video, so that will uh, uh, make sure that you can actually connect um, your external battery to uh, the, 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 the power system of your one wheel. Um, you can make this however you want. I like to put some 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 wiring mesh around the cables, uh, and I use XT60 connectors as well for these. I've never had any trouble with with melting or having shorts or anything. I I ride them through rain as well. Um, I don't really worry about corrosion or anything. They just work, which is fine, I guess. And yeah, together with all this, you can make a a circuit, which which will look something like this, where you have the battery on one side. Um, in your this will be in your backpack, a cable all the way through um, your legs to the one wheel. Um, you have some plug, and this will end up in your positives, which will be negative and positive. Um, I'll try to show you a power diagram as well um, for anyone who wants to check this or, or make sure it's correct. Um, and that's basically how we will be getting uh, power from external batteries to our one wheel. Now, Future Motion doesn't like this idea uh, because, well, they want to sell you um, models like they want to sell you their XR model they don't want you to extend their range because if they're gonna release a new model with more range they want you to buy that so I think from every version up till four point uh, hardware version for 122 I think um, 4112 excuse me will be um, compatible with this system and I think the last ver last hardware and software version, the combination of those two, will not support this anymore, which is a shame. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about this system, if you have any questions about how to connect, what to get, feel free to leave a comment uh, in the in the subscription. If you want to buy this system, especially in Europe, um, go to our website. There are some more links there that which you might find helpful. Uh, and I hope I got I helped you guys out a little bit because I saw a lot of questions about this, and I thought it might be nice to know that you can actually extend the range on your on your one wheel because it's, they're awesome to ride, and charging them is like the biggest hassle you can probably have if you just want to get out. Uh, but yeah, like and subscribe, and if you find this helpful, let me know, and uh, well, ride safe.